So, hello and welcome to this new Sims 4 Speed Meal channel. I'm Alita. I'm not new to The Sims. I've been playing around Sims 1, but then I really got into the game um, when Sims 2 came out where I had all of the packs. And as a kid, I must have wasted so many hours on that game. <laughs> But I thought it was about time that I shared some of my builds and creations on YouTube. Um, I'm a builder, but I do occasionally play the game when I have some free time, which is never. <laughs> um, anyway, pretty much my goal was to build a treehouse and to use some of the train tools. I'm kind of new to using the train tools. I've used them before, but I could never really get them to work for me, like with the landscape and like kind of intertwined with the build. I couldn't never get it to look realistic, but I think with this one, I actually really pulled it off. And yeah, I think I did give it a good go. But this lot is in Newcrest and it's on a 40 by 30 lot. And here I knew that I kind of wanted a kind of a lake running through in between the house. Just trying to create that with loads of rocks and trying to get them to look right. I hadn't actually used as many rocks as I did in this build. I've like never, to be honest, like this is my first time. But yeah, it's kind of really fun using the train tools and just kind of getting used to them. So within this build, I did use the BBB dot show hidden objects cheat and the BB dot move objects and also the tool mod. So the tool mod has like completely changed the game for me. Um, I think it's so useful in like lowering rocks into the ground and just really working with the terrain tools on the Sims. I think this mod just goes work. It just works really well. And also it doesn't like affect your gallery upload or people that haven't installed this mod. They don't need to worry about installing it either because when you download the builds, they'll be completely as shown in the picture. So I think that's really cool with this mod and yeah, definitely worth it. And here you can see that I tried to use some of the debug trees. I think I did keep one in the end. Another you'll just see randomly disappear because I edited it out because I didn't use it. But I wanted to go for this kind of octagon type of treehouse build. I did have a photo in mind. It was kind of hard to try and get the shape and the sizing right. Because I don't know why, but for me with The Sims, I kind of never know how big it is until I put furniture. Like, I'm not sure if I'm the only one, but I, I don't know why I find that really difficult. But here it actually comes out on a good size. And it is quite a, like a big lot. Well, it's not huge, but it's reasonable. And I think... I needed this size of a lot to have the trees and for it to kind of work and blend in together. So that was cool. So here I'm just working on the shapes and just trying to get things to work. You know, these hexagon shapes are not easy to work with. And especially for this overhang that I wanted, like on the second floor, it was just hard to get in the right place. But I think I found a way for it to work and in the end it does pay off and yeah it looks nice and then because it's a tree house i didn't want there to be a wall i was just using that to kind of guide me to um, for the upper floors so i eventually do take out the lower floors um i just wanted to hold them up with these kind of pillars or stilts you know what you call them just to hold up the house because the trees like when i put them over or with like entwined with the build they were just taking over, so I kind of had to use that as like something to hold the build so it would look more realistic. The roofing for this build was actually quite enjoyable. Normally in the past, I've hated doing anything to do with roofs. Like anything to do with roofing, I've just really loathed it and just either just put a square on top. <laughs> like the most basic <laughs> ceiling you could think, oh, I would just do that. But I think with this one, because of the octagon shape, I actually gave it a go and they're actually really easy to blend together, which is good. Um, but I know for the future I need to test myself with the roofing and try some more creative ideas. Here, I'm not really perfect with the camera yet, so I had to put the columns in and then uh, delete the floor and then copy them into the right position and delete the ones on the top. And this is the way I could just get the perfect position of the, of the columns to hold the house up. And here, I actually finally got to use these windows. I would never knew what to actually put these windows with. I think it was because of the odd shape to them. Um, but here I thought they worked so well and I wanted a mixture of windows types. We wanted it to be brown so they could be all cohesive but then at least be a different shape to give more, a bit more edge to the build. 
I do eventually add in a balcony section at the front. Just wanted somewhere where the Sims could come and eat, maybe have a seating area and a bridge that would lead to that left section. I did look online for a few ideas and the one with the front balcony just it just stuck with me and I thought it would be a really nice element to this tree house. I found that the outside was a lot more harder for me. I'm not sure why. I spent quite a lot of time on the outside more so than the inside. I really enjoyed doing the inside and I can't wait to show you guys. Yeah, I just can't wait to go through it because I really enjoyed it and I think it all comes together in the end. But I just thought I'd tell you a bit of a story of how I came across The Sims. So I remember the first time I even played The Sims. Well, it wasn't Sims 1, it was Sims 2. So I was around my best friend's house and her and her sister were playing upstairs. So I went upstairs and I was like, oh my God, what game is this? <laughs> and um, this was the time when, I'm not sure if you guys remember, but when you go to McDonald's and you used to order the Happy Meal, they used to give you like these little CD games. And I remember, I think one of them was Over the Hedge or something like that. And that was the only kind of thing that I'd actually play on a PC. Like I hadn't played any PC games. I was more of a PlayStation girl, to be honest. So I... So that was like my first introduction and then when this came along and I actually remembered about The Sims because I just forgot about it. I think time flew by and I think, if I'm not sure I remember, but I think there was a gap between, like a quite a big gap between Sims 1 and Sims 2. I could be completely wrong. Maybe I just forgot about it. But I do remember me being just being blown away by this game and then ever since that day... I just played Sims 2 so much and then Sims 3 came along and I was so excited and I don't know what it was about Sims 3 but it just didn't get me. I'm not sure if it was the animation or what it was. I don't. I didn't think I liked the camera angles either but yeah so I didn't really play that game. I think I just got the base game and that was it and then I got Sims 4 later but I think it was two years after it actually released I loved it I think this was so close more so than Sims 3 to Sims 2 that I just had to play it and ever since I've loved building on this game but yeah I just thought I'd tell you my little introduction of my the first time I actually played Sims 2 and if you guys remember the first time that you played Sims 2 I'd love to hear it yeah please share it um, but anyway, back to the build. So I was really indecisive about what to do the landscaping up towards the door. I didn't know if I wanted a ladder or what, and I tried many different things. It just wasn't working for me. So I eventually went with raising the floor upwards towards the first floor. And then I started putting the stairs down there, kind of like a walkway. If you guys know any tricks with the camera or just any little tips, please share because I'd love to hear them or see them. Even if I know them already, like you never know. I probably don't know them, to be honest with you. So <laughs> just please share and comment below about any tricks and tricks that you know. And yeah, you think would help me. That would be amazing. I do add some rocks within the pool area just because I just didn't like how you could see the walls and the border around the pool well it's meant to be a river but the pool and so i just added some rocks in there and here i'm just adding all of the stairs and i just want the sims 4 team to just add in diagonal stairs because it's just so annoying <laughs> it's just so annoying with that diagonal stairs sometimes and i know that the sims community have also been asking for bunk beds and owl-shaped sofas but I really would like diagonal stairs, like, so much. But I have to say, I think The Sims 4, I think the, the team have really added, like, cool things in this year. Like, even when it comes to, like, moving the doors anywhere you like and the windows as well now. Like, that's such a cool feature. And I definitely, within my builds, because I'm just doing base game, I really want to experiment with the windows and create something really cool um, for you guys, which I will do. And then you can see here I'm laying all the rocks down. And I made a huge mistake by laying these rocks down because I didn't alter my camera angle. I was just basically looking downwards. And then when I moved the camera parallel to to the rocks and to the floor, there were so many holes. I had to go in and edit it all out because 
it was just, yeah, I made a big mistake. Previously, you probably saw me using the tool mod just then, and that was just for me to lower the rocks, because in The Sims, it wouldn't let me put them down into the space, so having the tool mod just let me lower them to the ground or in the position that I wanted. And then I did add this, like, base game bush, just to cover some of the terrain, because I don't like the brown bit, so I thought it was just nice to cover it up with a bit of a mixture of rocks and and some greenery and then just lowering as well some other side of these big rocks and these are the debug rocks in the debug menu which are so cool i love these rocks i think they're just they're just it's just better to give some other kind of texture rather than the base game ones because i feel like when the base when you i feel like also when you size up the base game ones they can look a bit weird i did take out loads of some footage of me editing the rocks and adding all these greenery in because you guys just don't want to see the same thing going over and over because <laughs> that would be boring and then here i'm just making the front look nice like with loads of greenery and some flowers yeah just to make it look more appealing to the eye i think it looked quite bland without some landscaping and i've really tried to level up with my landscaping now like before when i wasn't doing youtube my landscape was just plain and boring and yeah it just didn't add anything to the build and i think now adding so much more landscaping has just made it so much better and then i did add these like these columns in again just to add some more extra details to the outside build and then i think eventually yes and then i'll go into the inside and i'm just connecting all the walls and then i really really enjoyed doing the inside and then i thought because it's a tree house even though it's kind of modern i am um, trying to do like a wooden back to the build so it's kind of like all wood even though it it looks okay it looks it doesn't look as realistic i think but you know i think it still works with the kind of feel that i was trying to pull off and then with the cabinets i struggled a bit trying to go around so the octagon shape but i actually do really like the layout in the end like i think i pulled it off and i think it works and yeah it's a really nice big kitchen but with here i actually didn't realize how big it was like i said earlier i always get confused with the sizing of a build until i put furniture in and when i started putting furniture and like just placing different objects i was like wow like this tree house is really big like i did not expect it to actually have this much floor space but you know i think it actually really works and it's actually quite nice actually like i initially did want it to be quite small but this size i think actually really paid off because it allowed me to do just different things like even have like a little entryway um i put a wall in just to separate the living room from the kitchen and it gave me a little space for me to just add some things in so within this build i i was thinking of a couple or a single sim to live in this home this section here that i just added in like a plant section i think it's quite funny because in real life, I'm not a big fan of plants. I like them, but I don't have them in my house. And in Sims, I always put so many plants in, like, just for decor. Because I think it, when you add plants in, it's just something to put in the house, isn't it? So I added a little plant section where maybe, like, the mom or the girl is so happy about her plant section that she has it right next to the door so that everyone can see <laughs> the plant collection i don't know but yeah i just thought it would be something, something cool to do and then for the living room i added these base game side table units just turn them round and then just for add like a little panel at the back behind the sofas and then this trick here is you just down size these chairs and then you can just add them in to look like cushions because i feel like I don't know, I just feel like we need more objects with cushions on. Because I don't think there's many luscious cushions that are just going with, I don't know, my vibe. So that's why I just downsized the cush the chairs, sorry, um, and added them into the sofa just to add some more texture and colour. We don't really have many curtains for the game, so I had to, then windows, then just plain panel windows, I had to do a little smaller size on each side of the middle one so i could add in this curtain which i think actually looks really nice yeah so that's cool and then these picture frames i added them in just to add some more texture rather than just a plain pink wall and with the mirror splash back in behind 
and then just little ornaments here and there just to add to the home I really like to have like curved stairs like a curved staircase because the stairs that are in the game now I struggle with just trying to find a place to put the stairs and they're quite annoying as well like the size of them they're quite big and chunky and I feel like a curved staircase would just only take like four squares and it'd be yeah I think it'd be really nice I'm sure there was a game that had curved stairs before but I can't remember what Sims game that was but here I wanted like a magazine to go on this coffee table and then I added lights underneath the pictures on the wall and here just adjusted some lighting in the room which I think was nice and some more pictures on the stairs and yeah I just didn't think that I tried to get the colour of the stairs right I think the brown goes I always find it difficult just placing stairs in general I just find that hard but here I was looking for the bathroom and I cut loads of this out because I was messing around what to do with this side of the room for ages I just didn't know what to do if I should put a bathroom down here or should I have a bathroom upstairs and I thought no I think it's best to have two bathrooms um, and then maybe like an office space so yeah so I just put in a table and then merged it with this sink just to add some counter space and so I could add like some soap um, the toothbrush and like maybe a towel on top as well so yeah I think the bathroom was really nice and I did change the wall colour like I started with this white tile but I didn't like it and I moved to this brown and then eventually I did go to the blue swatch I eventually added in some curtains for the bathroom and then also with the blinds in the living room as well so I added another section of blinds beneath just because I wish I could adjust the length of the blinds I wish you could do that within the sim because that would be cool to have like different lengths so I just had to add an extra one in to this other side of the room just to give it some more privacy and then this little area I started to do an office space I thought it'd be a good idea if one of the sims was like an artist even if it was one person in the couple or if they were both artists actually no I should have put two canvases if they were both artists um, <laughs> if there was just one of them was an artist or if you're doing a single sim then that works perfectly but I just here I was just trying to add like elements like the canvases drawings um, on the wall and then some framed work as well that maybe she just hasn't sold yet and I was just trying to add in some more plants and then some lights and just to make it like more cozy more kind of used someone's actually working in this space every day to make it a little more realistic and then these canvases here i think they're from the debug menu i think i actually can't remember where i got them from but i think they were from the debug menu i'll have to check but yeah so i was just altering like a few things here and there and then eventually adding some curtains in for the bath for the kitchen sorry i've never actually used these blinds for the kitchen before but i think they really kind of worked for this setting and then i just had to move a window to add this curtain in because it wouldn't allow me to do so then i go up to upstairs and then with upstairs i wasn't really sure what to do with upstairs like i didn't know if it should be like a two bedroom tree house or just a one bedroom and then i did decide to go with a one bedroom and I just wanted like an area for her like to have like a dresser, bed, a bathroom as well. So I just thought one bathroom downstairs just wasn't good enough. So I thought adding another bathroom upstairs would be better. And it would give actually more dimension to the build as well. I thought it was quite interesting that we're using base game. Like I'm trying to use elements as best as I can. I'm restricted to only this pack. And here I kind of did a cool thing with the sink. I've never actually done this kind of thing before, like merged it into the counters. But I think it's really cool and it looks nice and it is actually user friendly. I had to change the sink eventually. I think there was like a video where you can actually see the sink and we'll actually use it. So everything is functional within this house. And then I added these like cabinets at the top of this bathroom. I've never used them before either, but I just wanted to hide some of the ceiling because you could see it and I was like, okay, what can I do to hide? So I used them cabinets to just try to hide that area of where the um the roof is like coming into the build. And then with the bathroom, I did add like a bathroom in front of the windows. And I know some people within the Sims community really hate like not having like curtains and not giving the sims privacy but you know it is a game so i think everything's okay and i really think the sims need to add that function in as well you could close blinds like imagine like i would actually love that if you could actually open and close blinds but yeah i think they need to add that in because it'd be so cool and then with the, with the bedroom i didn't know where to place the bed at first i was messing around didn't know what kind of layout because it is an oddly shaped room so I didn't know what layout I could actually use 
but I did have like a dresser, chair, plant, another plant, and then also um, like uh, use these drawers and these like open shelving to give space for some clothes and then a washing basket as well. I did put an element from, no this is actually not from the diva menu, from items to like have like mess on the floor, which I thought was pretty cool because it kind of adds like another just realistic element to the build because I think with The Sims, I think it's best to make it as realistic as possible, even though, you know, it's not like this treehouse is not realistic. However, um, I think just adding these details in makes it more playable. Well, for me, it does. It makes it more playable and it's for me to be able to actually make up a story and stuff like that for my characters. So, yeah, that was it for the bedroom. Um, but I kind of want it to be like a, like a sunflower bedroom. So I did put like sunflower plants in there and also the sunflower picture which I thought was quite cool, which just adds to another bit of her, this woman's plant obsession. <laughs> and then outside, adding to that plant obsession, I added some garden elements outside, just so that, you know, if she's going to have plants inside, that maybe she's going to really take care of her garden from the outside. This part I really love, like adding the finishing touches, just extra detail, just to pull the house all together and yeah I love this part it's like kind of a relief after you've done the inside and most of the terrain and the outside and you've got past all the boring parts and this is where things get exciting to me because you're coming to the end and yeah you're coming to a nice build and a nice house and then here I really wanted to get rid of these stepping stones I just thought I just couldn't be bothered to put these all the way around the build and then like over the pond leading up to the ladder I just thought Instead, okay, just use the terrain tools, which I think actually s still works really nice and it's just so much easier and I think it gives still like a really nice effect without you placing like individually them stepping stones from the debug menu. So yeah, I thought it was a much better idea. And then these plants are also from the debug menu. I'm just in love. I think I never really knew about the debug menu when I first started building and then after like watching some like sim inspiration videos on YouTube by other simmers and they mentioned like the debug menu on their builds and I was like wow I have to check this out especially like only being base game seeing all the debug items in there is just yeah it's you get blown away really because you're just like wow new items <laughs> I have to use these so yeah that's really cool and then, but I'm really excited to share, like, some of my, like, other builds with you guys, with this channel. And, yeah, I just want it to be a space where I can share my builds, build a community, build friends online, and just share my passion for the Sims game. And then I knew that I needed some outdoor lighting, so I just changed to the nighttime setting. And then just added some, like, lights here and there just to light up the build and just give the extra extra sparkle that I feel like it needed at night time because I feel like some builds it is not it's not really a big deal to light up outside but I think after doing it in some of my builds that you will see it's made such a huge difference I feel when you play the game and just it just gives that nice touch I thought I'd do the back because I completely neglected the back I think I think after doing the front and it took me so long I was like you know I'm just gonna leave the bag back till later and yeah I'm not doing that next time I think I will for you guys, I'll do all the terrain and all the stuff outside of the build first and then I'll go inside and then I'll end with the screenshots rather than me doing bits here and there and I think it's a bit modelled up so yeah I'll definitely work on it for the next uploaded video. But here the tour mod just made everything so much more easy and just yeah I love this tour mod. It's amazing I would hugely recommend because it allowed me to put these rocks into the ground and just give that nice touch and just hiding the horrible brown slope that's <laughs> on the edge of yeah the hill that I just didn't really like so I thought these rocks would be perfect and then from working with this terrain I kind of realized that everything can't be so perfect like it looks better kind of scattered around and kind of random and for me like I've never done terrain like this before it was kind of like a learning curve where in the past I would do everything so perfect and just in a row like by square by square it just my builds never really looked right and here I tried to change that by making things random and then adding some like small details like where the rocks would be like there would be some like few grass areas and around the trees and then again using the base game bush to hide all that brown terrain around the side 
I did take some inspiration for the landscaping around Newcrest, which is kind of blending things in with the natural terrain around there and then using the same like plants and stuff. This build is uploaded to the gallery and we are coming to the end of this build now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions for me about builds that you'd like me to remake on The Sims, please comment below. And the screenshot should be rolling soon. Thank you for sticking with me. Please subscribe and see you in the next one. Thank you.